Hi everyone, welcome to another new tutorial from Motion Routes. In today's video, we will show you how to effectively create a bounce expression on one single property. Also, how to create a synchronized bounce expression on multiple properties within different layers. And finally, a bouncing shape layers with a couple of clicks. Keep in mind that we will be using expression base throughout the whole video, so feel free to get your free copy now from our website. Please note that this video has chapters enabled so you can skip to any part you want. With that being said, let's get started. First of all, let us make sure that we are using the JavaScript engine in Adobe After Effects. To do so, please click on File, then Project Settings. Then click on the Expressions tab and make sure JavaScript is selected and not Legacy Extend Script. Now we are ready to start with our first example. Before going any further, let us add the bounce expression to our account on Expression Base. To do so, let us open the Public Expressions panel and let's look for bounce. Then let's save it to our account. As you can see, we have a full HD composition running on 60 frames per second. We have a simple scale animation on a circular shape layer. Let us see the initial state of our animation before applying the bounce expression. All right, now let us select the scale property and fire the expression base search panel. Then simply click on the bounce expression and select the single layer control option. Here we have three properties to control our bounce expression. Let us plug in these values. 0.7 for the elasticity, 300 for gravity, and two bounces. Before previewing the animation, let's reveal the expression section by clicking on the arrow next to the stopwatch icon. Then let us click on the show post expression graph and let's toggle on the graph editor. And now by toggling the show post expression graph on and off, we can clearly see how the scale value changes over time. Now we are ready to preview the animation. Next, let us go through each parameter of the bounce expression. The elasticity defines the amplitude of the bounce. So if we increase its value, the bounce will be more pronounced and vice versa. Moving on to the next parameter, gravity. It defines the period or the distance between each bounce. The bigger the value, the shorter the distance between bounces and vice versa. Next we have the number of bounces, which is the most straightforward parameter, and it defines the number of bounces after the last keyframe. So let us preview our bounce animation with these values. If you really like our content, please push the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell for more awesome content and cool giveaways. In this second example, we will apply the bounce expression to multiple properties at once. Here, we have three already animated layers. Let us reveal their respective keyframes by selecting all of them and pressing the letter U. And let's preview the existing animations. It looks dull and pretty boring. So let us add the bounce expressions to these properties. First, let's select them and let's fire the expression base search panel. Then click on bounce and select single layer control. Before tweaking the values of each bounce expression, we need to toggle on the show post expression graph. Now let's preview what we have so far. As you can see, based on the animation and the graph editor, all of the three animations are not synchronized correctly. So our aim is to synchronize the bounces across the different layers. To do so, we need to make sure that elasticity and number of bounces are both constants, and their values should be 0.6 and 4 respectively. We will pick a gravity value of 870 for the rotation, and then we will try to synchronize the bounce on both the scale and position to the rotation animation. We will do it using the post expression graph. As you can see, there is an offset or a distance between the dashed red line and the dashed blue line, which both represent the rotation and the scale properties respectively. So, let us play with the gravity value on the scale property until we have both the red and the blue dashed lines aligned. Voila! 340 is the gravity value needed for the scale property. Let us now move on to the position animation. We will do the same via the post expression graph. We will synchronize the dashed pink line to the rest of the dashed lines. And as you can see, the more we increase the gravity value, the more the distance between the dashed pink line and the rest is getting smaller. So 940 is the best gravity value here. Finally, let's turn off the show post expression graph on all layers and preview our animation. And there you go. 
a synchronized bounce animation across multiple properties. For a limited time, you can buy the premium version of Expression Base with 30% off for a lifetime access, or you can simply download the free version and upgrade later on. In this last example, we will create bouncing shape layers using the bounce expression. So let us select all shape layers and create a keyframe on the position property at the half second mark. Then let's create another keyframe on the position property at zero seconds. Hold shift and let's drag the position Y slider to the left until the shape layers are out of the frame. Then let's press F9 to easy ease the first keyframes and let's preview what we have done so far. Okay. Now let's select all position properties and fire the expression based search panel. Then let's click on the bounce and this time we will select the master control so that we will have only one layer to control all expressions at once. Now let us plug in these values. And finally, let's enjoy the animation. If you really like this tutorial video, please push the like button, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment about what you want to see in the next video. Thank you for your time and have a good one.